This is a box for a girl 10 to 14. Um, I just thought I would um, show what I'm sending in my Operation Christmas Child Shoe Boxes for this year uh, to anyone that cared to see. So first off we have this scarf and hat that I got. It's very warm. I figured even if she lived in a warmer country it gets chilly at night so I think she would like that. Also I have this here. Uh, it's a squishy. Normally I send um, stuffed animals, but this year I decided to send a squishy. Here I have a sticker pack, just of some different stickers and some paper clips. Here I got her some bras that were normally $12, marked down to 4 and they're Hanes brand, so they're very good quality. And here are some cute little cat ears that are comfortable to wear and super cute. A couple pair of underwear. A little box of tissues. A cute little purple keychain. Uh, we went with a purple theme for her box as much as we could. A little microfiber cloth. A cute little monkey keychain. And for my older girls, I like to send a hygiene pouch. So in her pouch, we have this lip balm. I've used this lip balm, it's very good. Some goody hair bands. Soft picks. A bunch of different size band-aids. Q-tips. A brush with a compact mirror. Again, you can send compact mirrors if it um, comes in a compact case. So, more band aids. I have a thing of deodorant for her. A couple of nail clippers. And some Conair brand bobby pins. And then I have a little pony with a little booklet. I just thought it was really cute. It'd be fun, fun pictures to look at. I have a purple water bottle. I don't uh, put my pens or my lead pencils inside water bottles. It's kind of one of my pet peeves. So I usually put bulky things in here like washcloths or socks. So in here, I, I have a pair of socks, some hair ties, and a little toy. I have a calculator, uh, colored pencils, some gel pens. I put my pens in Ziploc bag just in case they were to break or spill. They won't get everything else ruined. And I have a little rubber band around it. They can use the rubber bands. Um, dental floss, a little notebook, rain poncho. Uh, I always put a rain poncho in every box that I do. I have a toothbrush in here. A couple more pairs of underwear. I have a food container here that I'm using as a soap holder and in here I have a pack of socks with some ivory soap in a Ziploc bag. Purple tape here, I like that it was purple. So I have a wooden yo-yo with the instructions. Um, and here is her pencil case. I have quite a few pencils. Um, I have some school grade pencils and then some fun purple and silver pencils in here. And then again, I put my pens in a Ziploc bag just to protect them in case something were to happen. And I tried to send, I read somewhere in a blog a couple years ago that it's good to send um, 
black, red, and blue ink pens, so I always try to send all the colors. And I have a pair of scissors. Again, I have my glue stick in a Ziploc bag, just in case it melts. I have a couple of really cute sticker packs here. Um, just cute little activities. A few more, uh, another sheet of paper, uh, stickers. And then I like to send tote bags. Again, I loved that it was purple. Um, I had, I've seen many videos where they, they either walk or ride a bike to get their shoe boxes. And so just in case they don't have a backpack or anything, um, it'll just be more convenient for them. And then here is a notebook for her. We live in Canada, so I like to send these so she can see the, the map. And I sent two, I like to send the older kids at least two exercise books. Um, I also like these books, these notebooks, because they, I believe they have, or I thought they did, yes, they just have, um, you know, it, it, it can be very organized for them if they care to use it. And then also I made these for each of my boxes this year. It's just some construction paper. They can use it as a journal or a sticker book, whatever they like. So I have that. And then, again, I got a really good deal on these memo pads. It gets purple, magnetic, uh, for 50 cents. I thought it was a really good deal. And then a washcloth, another washcloth that she can use. All right, so that's my girl box for a 10 to 14 year old. I hope you found it um, helpful. And um, again, I haven't enclosed my picture or a letter. We will be sending a family picture and letter in this. I just haven't got that done yet. But yeah, that's my box for her. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.